Hey guys, it's Sunday morning and I'm here with my coffee and about half an hour of time and it's time for me to do my weekly plan with me. Uh, but since it's the beginning of a new month, I'm pulling out my new Mun Weeklies for the month of October. So this is from the My Summer Touch shop. Uh, you can see I've already, you probably can't see, I've already put a little bit of a pencil line here. I just like to put a cover page on these. MySummerTouch.com is where you can get these, uh, and I've been using these for two full months now. And so this is the third month that I'm going into using these, and I think that is the longest that I have used a weekly layout in a long time, actually. Um, I think really what it comes down to is um, it's so customizable, there's like just a lot of open space and so I am doing slightly different things with it every week so that a little bit of creativity and diversity um, keeps it fresh for me every week I'll show you what it looks like for September here we go it's September um, and so you fold it out like this I know you've probably already seen these if you're following me. If you're not, subscribe! Um, so week one, I had the videos and then to-dos and then dinners. And then these are dailies. Then week two, same thing, I had put dinners down here. Tiny little column for, uh, for my to-dos there. You have to change it up because this space on the left here gets smaller every week. Week three just had videos here and to-dos over on this flap, which was fun because I could tuck that out here, close everything else up, and have that just sticking out. Then week four, this last week, I had videos, to-dos, and then dinners just went along here. So that is what this last month has looked like with the teal and brown theme. This month, though, I am using a sort of fall colors theme because I'm so excited that it's finally fall. This is sort of dried enough. I'll give it a little bit of a rest before I try to erase underneath. So here we have October and this is a full on like five week month. Um, the last September it was started on a, t a Sunday so there was like a, a flap that just had the little Sunday at the bottom, but I didn't use that one. And then there's also the flap that just had the 30th um, at the top, and I didn't use that one either. But then this month, this will be the 30th. I do full weeks at a time, regardless of when the month starts and ends. So I've got this going here. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is three days, whereas October is four days here, so we're going to call this an October week. It also comes with this side, which is just some grid uh, pages. The back of all of these, if you ever look, is exactly the same. It's just a grid straight across that wraps around the folds. So just, you know, if you were curious. These are handy for weeks like this week where, you know, you don't have as much room so you can actually spread over um, or if you need extra space for dailies. At least that's the way I use it. But I'm going to set those aside for now. I'm going to start by setting up the entire month with events. Um, there's not a lot, I don't think, but let me pull it out here. This is real, guys. I don't think I'm going to edit any of this out. Let me flip. I, I moved my future log to the back of my planner and I'm always fumbling around to find it when I need it. All right, we've got, here we go, October. I have a dentist appointment on the 15th. That's a good opportunity. Let me pull some of these little samplers out. I did a couple planner Kate orders and so I've got all of these fun little, not these ones. I actually placed a second order because I decided, let's see, dentist, oh, it's the wrong color. Oh well, maybe next year. Um, does this one have like a dentist symbol? I had the to-do and the this week headers from Planner Kate. And this doesn't have a dentist symbol. Um, and then I decided that I wanted to have a, um, oh, there's not an appointment one. That's fine. 
But I wanted to have a um, dinner header. So I ordered that one. It's in here too. I'm pulling that out. Um, and so I also grabbed like the 10 pack of little samplers, um, like randomly. And they're so cute. I could definitely use all of these. I think I'm going to use one of these for the dentist. Um, I guess just the red one. So that's on the 15th. Here. This may or may not work perfectly or annoy me. We will see. Because the way that works, it folds right here. So hopefully there's enough sticker on both sides of the fold that it's not gonna like loosen up on one side and they'll just get used to folding. So let's just wait. 5, 5, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Dentist. There we go. Alright. I have some events on here that are not events, but to do's. Like this DTAP, I have to get my daughter's vaccinations up to date. That doesn't need to happen on a certain day. Like I need to schedule it. It doesn't have an appointment yet. So scheduling it is on the um, the contact list for the month. Let's see, the sixth, the first Sunday of the month here, we have a dinner thing. I think I need to pull out everything that's uh, trying to see. The thing with these is they're all these cool colors. I saw two, there's a green one, okay. Uh, but I don't know which color I need. Great, cool. All right. I also keep a bunch of stickers back here. Okay. So there's a little smiley faces. These cute little arrows. It's not like an all day thing. Maybe one of these. These are just going to be all over my desk. Everywhere. Problem. I've never had that many stickers going on in my life before, and it's a, it's a little much trying to keep track of all of them, especially when there's a bunch of new ones, and so like I keep forgetting what I got. It's like I didn't order them specifically, so I don't remember what's there. Alright, uh, what time is this event? We have a dinner party thingy we're going to. Let me just pull up the invite on my phone. at 4.30. There's a new, like, young adult family, uh, like, faith sharing group that we're trying to help get started. So, we definitely have to be there. And then, oh uh, yeah, uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and add this one. There's an event here that I just put it's not something I'm definitely going to, so I'm going to leave it off here. It is on my monthly setup, I believe, already, uh, which was last week's video, so check that out. Confirm it's there. Yes, it's on there, so it will come up and I'll see it there. That's pretty much it. Um, we go to the library every week so I think I'll add that but I don't think I'm going to use stickers for that because it's just kind of basic so I'll just add library and then actually this particular week our friend is going to join us and then come over for dinner They have an evening story time. Oh, let's see. Oh, did this reposition at all? Oh, oh, it does. It comes up. Excellent. Because I'm realizing that's not the very last thing on my to do list that day. Excellent. These Planner Kate stickers come up a little bit. 
You know what? I think I knew that. I think Carrie Harling uses these and has mentioned that she loves how repositionable they are. Alright. Library. And so my little daughter has so much fun going to story time every Tuesday evening. And I love that they have that available at a time when parents can go, you know? The librarian is always inviting me to the things that happen on Wednesday afternoons. And I'm like, no, I, I work. And she's like, you work at 3.30 on a, on a Wednesday? I'm like, yeah, don't you? Anyway, um, I went ahead, if you notice, I printed these in grayscale. Because um, normally there's Saturdays and Sundays on these My Summer Touch inserts are green and red. Um, that's fine, I guess. But like, it kind of clashes with the color scheme sometimes. I can usually ignore it, actually. But just I went ahead and... Um, and print it in grayscale anyway. So I think that's pretty much it. I'm so grateful that we don't seem to have any, um, oh, you know what, I'm gonna pull this. We don't have any weekend plans really, so that's great. This is a little sampler that came with my most recent Twin 16 order. And so it says October 2016th is National, October, what, October 26th is National Pumpkin Day. And that's nice, so I'm just going to go ahead and put that here because it's pretty and it matches my color scheme and whatever. It'll be good to know that it's National Pumpkin Day. Oh, I should check my thing here. Again in my future log. Can you see this? I've got this insert from the Peanuts Planner Co. Undated Yearly Bundle. Um, where I keep track of all the birthdays and things in my life. The only thing here is my parents' anniversary, so I'm just going to go ahead and mark that here. I um, wonder if there's an appropriate sticker for that. There we go. A little, little red heart. Perfect. How cute. Remind me to text them. I think they're going to be taking that day off to go celebrate, so... Shout out, my mom watches my videos. Though, also, you've seen her. And never said She was in uh, my Sunday video, not this last one, the, the one before. So again, if you haven't seen that, I keep telling you to go look in the corner. Um, so that, I think, are all of my events. So I'm gonna go ahead and plop that over. I normally just leave it in my notebook to plan for the week, um, but it's just uh, all of the Mon Weekly together is a little bit of a chunk, and so I don't want to stick this in until I pull the September one out. That's the only reason I have it out on the desk right now. I normally just put up with it and just, you know, plan um, in, inside the notebook. I'm trying to decide what wash to use for my header. No. There's orange. Yeah. This orange. I don't know why these are so similar. Red. I feel like the bright red is a little bit too much. And I also want to pull out like this guy. Or this guy. Oh, let's use this one. So I'm just going to mark across the top here. I'm gonna line up the bottom of the washi with the bottom of this little header box so that it's actually taller than the box but it'll not go off the edge of the page. If what I'm saying makes sense. But it doesn't really have to. Just Okay, I'm gonna just use this to cut. drink some of this before it gets cold. Good stuff. That's uh, Don Francisco's, I think the Kona blend with vanilla creamer. Those. Yeah. Like I'll drink my coffee with half and half, no problem. Um, like I would rather have cream over sugar if I had to only choose one. 
and I'm fine with just half and half. But I get the flavored creamer because I kind of like just getting the non-dairy creamer just because it's it keeps longer. Um, so I just get the giant one and leave it in there for however long it takes, like two or three months to expire. Um, so I get the you know the largest one I can. It just seems like a better deal. And then I figure, if I'm going to get Coffee Mate, why would I want to get plain Coffee Mate? I may as well get a flavor. So I'll get, you know, hazelnut usually, but vanilla was what they had this last time. Alright, um, I'm going to put this across the... Uh. So one side, usually it's this side, is going to be my video plans. So let's go ahead and actually pull out the headers. The ones I've been telling you about. So the This Week header here. Kind of try to center it. There we go. And then this side will be the to-do header. This is just, you know, general to-do items. And then depending on which side has more things will be where I put dinner. So let me just kind of pull up my video plans. First we've got Thursday, which is this one. The one weekly plan with me. Should have said at the outset, this is one of those I think that you put on in the background. So I hope you guys are doing something fun and or productive right now. Um, so I've already filmed, so I don't even have to put that. I want to make sure I edit. And do magic teacher. Then Sunday's video. Apologies if you can hear my husband starting up the shower in the adjoining bathroom. Ah, yes. Yes. You know what? I think I'm going to change up what I was going to do for this Sunday. I think I'm going to do a video that I came up with in the comments of last week's, I think, um, how I print my printables. So I will need to do everything to that. to decide what else I'm going to work on this week. Try to get something more than that. I can film. I don't even know. Uh, let's see. I have another bedtime book review that I want to film. And then next Thursday is I'll at least, I'm going to leave this sort of blank plan and maybe film. I'm just going to leave it there for when I decide what it is. And then I think there's something else I want to be working on. Mm, yeah. my end screens so there we go that's a little bit um what's it I'm overreaching trying to get more on my list than ambitious I'm trying to say this list is a little bit ambitious but you know what whatever reach for the stars and all of that if you fail you'll end up floating in space with no oxygen. Uh, let's see. There we go. I really love this washi tape and I don't get enough opportunity to use it. Basically because I purchased it in the spring. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to do another header here. So I'm going to put my dinner plans um, in this section here. So I want to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then another space, and then it's 
itty tiny little bit of that there that I can cover up to show me where to put the blush. Okay. There we go. So, this washi tape is from Michael's, by the way. If you don't recognize it. That's not good. That's not good. It's ripping the paper. It rips the paper. Okay, take a picture of that for later. You can't tell, right? You probably can't see it at all. But it did rip the paper. Use my first of my new dinner header stickers. I don't think I prob can properly express how excited I am to have these stickers because I really have been thinking about getting something like this for a long time so that I can do this. Because um, like a, the to-do stickers I previously had were like clear and so I couldn't use it on a dark washi tape, it wouldn't show up. So that's sort of the plan here, let me just... Alistair Collins on here. Now I have not actually planned my menu for the week yet. Um, I should have, but we just sort of took yesterday easy and then today we're leaving in maybe 15 minutes to go to a party. So hopefully this afternoon I'll get a chance to plan out my menu. Um, and when I do, I'll just put all of my dinners here, and then I can check them off. I know for a fact, and I'll just put it in the second column because I know what it is, is I'm doing baked potatoes on Tuesday. That was already the plan. I may want to do um, an updated menu planning video, actually. I might want to add that to my to-do list. All right, so this looks like a super uh, empty week. And maybe it is, but it'll probably fill up. And I tend to like add little stickers along the edge um, as my week goes on if I can. Like this, you know, like if on Wednesday I had a harrowing experience where my car key didn't work, so I put this little, you know, emoji sticker, or here I put this fun little emoji sticker when uh, my new planner came in, and stuff like that. Events tend to go in boxes so that they stand out. And things that, like our events, often will go on the far left. Um, to-do items, I tend to put, if there's any to-dos that I put on this side, I put them at least four boxes in so that they don't show up on the, uh, the whole monthly view when I fold it open. It's just for me to see that week. So, here we go. That's the week. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you enjoyed uh, all of that rambliness and I'm going to go ahead and finish my coffee and then wake up the baby and we're going to head to a birthday party. So I hope you guys are having a good week um, and I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.